Hi, I'm Mark. And I'm Jerry. And, and we, we are, are the, the Military, Military Collectible Shop. Shop. And welcome to another new edition of What's New at the Military Collectible Shop. So, uh, this week has been kind of a busy, not busy, busy, not busy week for us. So, but we did get a lot of interesting things in. Uh, so, as usual, we wanted to share it with you. Um, so, what do you got, Mark? Okay, we got a set of British World War II emergency snowshoes. Very cool. Um, they're dated 1945. And uh, pretty 43. cool. Uh, oh, 43. Sorry, 1943. Mathing is hard. Uh. Um, got, got in a grouping of um, one guy's uh, father's stuff that he had uh, some of his own stuff and some of the things he brought back. Uh, first off was a yard long. Mark, why do you think they call these pictures yard longs? Hmm, have no idea. Because all the soldiers are standing in the yard. Oh, uh, uh, no, no, no. It's because they're so long. Um, the longest one I've ever had was actually 12 feet. Uh, that one was not framed, um, but it was it was World War One, 12 feet long. Amazing. Um, but anyways, he was with a uh, anti-aircraft uh, unit in World War Two. Um, a lot of those anti-aircraft units provided support uh, for various units as they moved around Europe. Um, and so he was actually a medic with them. So we got a little medic book, some uh, speaking guys, you know, what to do in Paris, what not to do. Um, he was wounded, so we did get his uh, Purple Heart medal. Um, and then he picked up some German souvenirs along the way. Got a Luftwaffe belt buckle, uh, a Luftwaffe cased flak badge, the anti-aircraft flak badge. Um, some little medals or ribbon bars and party pin he had pinned onto a little trophy display. A couple little tags, we're not completely sure what they're from. This one's got an eagle on it and a number. Could just be a tool tag or something. This one's uh, probably from either an aircraft or some kind of Luftwaffe something or other. It's got the little Luftwaffe Eagle. Um, and then there were actually some cutoff pieces. Um, and those of you who've been following along at home know that I collect cutoff pieces. So I was very happy to find these pieces of insignia, uh, mostly Army uh, insignia, uh, one SS Edelweiss, um, and then a, a Luftwaffe. Um, piece of cutoff insignia from the first pattern uh, Fallschirmjäger smock along with the Fallschirmjäger badge. So uh, that was that was pretty cool. Um, nice grouping that, that came in there. So we apparently uh, bought an Ike jacket. A um, little small for me but uh, he's got five battle stars. 7th Army, the uh, knife thing. I think that's, I don't know what that is. I, we did our research, but we don't remember it, it what it was. It just came in. It just came in. Um, yeah. So, I uh, got another grouping. Um, from a, a, another friend of ours, uh, this this guy served in Vietnam. He was with a, a helicopter squadron, um, so we got uh, one of the patches uh, from him. Um, one of the things uh, apparently they use these. Uh, this is a rotor chain that they had used on the helicopters. Apparently, he said that these are real popular for the guys to make bracelets out of. Um, so that's kind of neat. We did get several of his uh, awa. Pokey Vietnam medals. Uh, these, these happen to be two Vietnamese made ones, the Vietnam and the uh, National Defense ones. Uh, his boonie hat, um, several grenade pins. Uh, he was with a combat unit, uh, assault helicopter unit. Um, some uh, Viet Cong um, tire sandals, slippers, whatever they call these. Um, and one of the neater things he brought back, and I think I have a picture of it somewhere, because I have his photo album too, uh, but the sign from the uh, 192nd assault uh, from the nursing, from the nurses group. Uh, so this is the sign that hung over their area. So that go go with my woman's collection, um, and hopefully I'll be able to find the picture of that in the photo album and uh, be able to put those together as well. We also got some of his other uh, loose medals that he was awarded. Do you think they're going to miss the sign when they 
the guy took it. Uh, I don't know. It just seems something odd to take away. Oh. Hello. How are we doing, guys? We're good. Good, good. Hi, we're back. <laughs> Anyways, so today we bought a little collection here, which includes a, a cased silver sports badge. Uh, i never seen them in a case before, but uh, that's cool. Uh, I also got War Merit Cross, Sword, Second Class, Romanian Crusade Against Communism medal. Uh, this is a an NSDAP bronze long service medal in the box. We got the Czechoslovakian annexation medal with the Prague castle on it in the case. That's nice. A 40 year service medal or I don't know 40 years of civil service. Civil service. Um, we also got a bronze SA sports badge. Finish is nice. And we got a bunch of labor books here. Papers, please. Yes, you gotta work at working. Also, Unless we did this already. Nope, not that one. We got a purple heart grouping. And there's pictures of the guy from 1965. His dog tags and uh, his purple heart. So we'll have to research him and see what we can find out. He obviously wasn't killed during the war. Um, or if he was, he was a time traveler. We also got uh, a short snorter. Uh, it's got a bunch of signatures on there, and it says February 16th, 1945, somewhere in France. Um, and then in a completely different direction, um, got a World War II uh, U.S. Army WAC uh, M43 jacket. Um, but the, the added uh, pockets, you know, that the, the WAC jackets had. Um, and this might be, I think this is actually part of a grouping I had previously bought. So it's nice to be able to add things that belong together, get them back together again. Um, and then we actually didn't get this, but we found this. Um, <laughs> it was in a pile of hats, and it's a World War One hat. But what's neat about this one is it's named to the guy, and he was with the 192nd Aero Squadron. Um, so we'll obviously get that out of our $5 hat pile um, and put that where it, with the respect it, it, it should uh, begin. Oh, and then um, I also got a small grouping of medals. Um, and belt buckles, uh, again from a previous group that I had I had bought. Um, I had actually picked up uh, a numbered uh, general assault badge, um, and these were the other groups that came with it. Also including a factory badge, uh, which is kind of neat from the William Prim factory in Stolberg, which I think William Prim. I think he actually made the Prim snaps, as seen on the Falschmager and Luftwaffe. Um, smocks and other accoutrements. Um, so remember, if it says original prim, it's not. So he just wanted to say prim. Um, yeah. So I, uh, you know, we did get some other stuff in, but this was kind of the the interesting stuff we thought. Um, so. As always, thanks for watching. Uh, we hope you enjoyed this quick little foray into our world. Um, it was kind of nice to uh, um, be able to get through some of the stuff um, today. And uh, remember to subscribe. Um, we need more subscribers, and then you'll get updates about videos like this and all the other ones that we'll be coming out with. So uh, <laughs> be sure, be sure to. And we've got some great stuff in store for you. Oh uh, yeah. 
So be sure to subscribe. And uh, as always, email us, write us, leave the comments. Um, we love hearing from all of you. So thanks for watching, everybody. Until next time, I'm Jerry. And I'm Mark. And we, we are, are the Military, military Collectible Shop. Ding.